Okay. Uh, my name is Chen Liu, and I come from the Bioconductor Core team. Um, it is located in Buffalo, the city of Buffalo in the United States, if anyone interested. And um, thank you, Bosk, for having me. And um, <laughs> today I talk about the lazy representation and comprehension of very large genomic data resources and our bioconductor. Uh, so Bioconductor is an open source, open development platform for bioinformatics tools and uh, statistical genomic tools. And it is uh, based on our programming language. That's why I'm a street R user, and I hear everything. I, I hear anything similar to R as R. So <laughs> sorry for not paying attention to your talk. And I was doing my last minute rehearsal. <laughs> Uh, first, I'll um, introduce the Varn experiment. It's, it is a data container uh, for your assay data. Um, basically, it extends the summarized experiment, which is familiar to many bioinformaticians. And um, uh, it extends summarized experiments, which means that it inherits all the methods that are already defined on the summarized experiment for free. And uh, basic, uh, um, there are three major components for the Varn experiment and summarized experiment. The first is that uh, the assay data, like is, it is the, in the middle of the, uh, your major experimental data. It, it could be the genotype data from GWAS, it could be the dosage for variants from your DNA sequencing, it could be the count data from your RNA-seq or single-cell RNA-seq. Uh, the other two components, like, uh, okay, for your assay data, the rows are for your features, uh, which include the genes, props, or variants, and the columns are the samples. So the other two components of summarized experiment are the two annotation files about your features, which could be called as the raw data, and your uh, column, uh, your column data which, uh, for an annotation uh, file for your samples. <coughs> and there's some metadata on the this corner, which means it is a list. It's an R list, which means that you could put anything related to your. Uh, I said uh, our experiments here. Um, so uh, these are the like common things between summarized experiment and Varn experiment. So I talk a, a little bit about the difference. So when you use summarized experiment, basically you load basically uh, when you load your data into uh, summarized experiment and do your analysis in R, you load everything into memory. I mean, mostly. Uh, there are some exceptions. You load everything into memory, including your IC data, including the, all the annotation data. Um, but when the re uh, data gets really large, and it's very difficult to fit into the R memory limit, so that's why we define the design of our experiment. The major difference would be that it is a container for the lazy data structures. So it represents the IC data as a delayed array and any extensions. The backend data could be the SQL database. Data. It could be a GDS file format. It could be a very big VCF file. It could be H5 file. That uh, there is an interface called HDF5 array. And the uh, annotation data for the features and samples are represented uh, using the delayed data frame. It is a lazy data, uh, data uh, structure for. Uh, containing those different data types. With, uh, for, for example, for the samples, you can have their gender information, their age, their cancer state, stage, their disease status, their his, family history, anything. They are in different data types, and they could be uh, lazily represented inside the delayed data frame. So with everything I have said, you don't really need to understand, because we have very convenient um, conversion functions. Okay, uh, from you, we have a function from you can directly co uh, convert your VCF file into our experiment, and you don't need to anything about. We, we our aim is to let we don't want users to feel any difference when you deal with the data in memory or out of memory. I'll talk really quick about the SQL data frame. It is another uh, data structure that extends the it uh, is the data frame like. Uh, interface. So many core uh, bioconductor packages implemented the data frame, like variant annotation, genomic alignments, genomic ranges, summarized experiments. So it could be very useful when you use, um, even if you don't notice, it could be very useful. So uh, the idea is similar. We want the lazy representation of SQL database tables. For example, we have a SQL light 
data from the um, ArcDB for Homo sapiens and tables gene info. So when we present the data using SQL data frame, so the data looks like this. So it's very neat. You have the uh, a show of the first several rows and last several rows. And we load another uh, transcript DB for Homo sapiens. And you can use the uh, function inner join to join these two uh, SQL data frame and get all the information you want. So everything is lazy. The data are stayed in on this can unchanged. So I want to thank Martin Morgan, uh, he's the director of Backconductor, and Irvi, he's the developer of Delayed Array, and many other fundamental um, Backconductor packages. You can ask me any questions through my email, and thank you all for your attention. <laughs>